Hey guys, um, just gonna do a quick video on, uh, how I pack my boat and, like, what I have in it when I go out on the lake. Uh, so yeah, I'll get started from the back. Right here is my little, uh, safe box that has, you know, my boater's card, manuals, flares, medical supplies, all that stuff that you need to have, whistles. Uh, right there, that's a two and a half gallon tank filled with fuel in case I ever run out. A little rope. Um, to tie up with. This is my five gallon tank. I can, it does, like this engine does pretty good on uh, gas mileage with that five gallon tank. I can normally go out about five times before I have to refuel. So, yeah. Here's the cockpit. I have my little eagle. Uh, planning on getting a better one, a uh, better fish finder um, pretty soon, but yeah. Uh, here's my little Lowrance rag. This normally goes on there or under there. It's just whatever I need to wipe up. I keep my scale under there. I don't have it with me right now, but uh, that's where I keep that. Light switch goes up to the front and the uh, pole light back there. Um, then I got a fire extinguisher, a paddle. A push pole and the light that goes right there. Um, this is where I keep my tackle right there. And um, you know, I keep it there. It, it's it can get in the way sometimes, um, but I, I just like it there. Sometimes I'll put it back there if I don't have anything else back there. But uh, yeah, I've got my Veritas bag, this little uh, worm file, KVD worm file. And two boxes then are normally in there, but I have so much stuff like flukes and all that stuff uh, packed in there, hooks, all that stuff. Um, this is where I keep all the life jackets. I have a throw pillow and two life jackets. Then I have another uh, life jacket. Got a couple little stickers. High Mountain Pies. It's a really good pizza place. Uh, spider wire and Saint Croix. Um, yeah, I just had that bungee down with those little clips. Um, so yeah. This is actually a uh, Coleman cooler, and when I'm, you know, looking to keep some fish to eat, I'll just put some ice in this and chuck them in there. But um, I'm planning on getting this thing called the Super Saver Live Well system, and um, it basically just turns this into a live well, so we can see what kind of limits we get and see what we can pull out at. So looking forward to that. Uh, trolling motor battery, of course, motor guide. Pro Series 54 pound thrust, 46 inch shaft. Uh, on the other side, um, this is where I keep my markers, my marker buoys, right up here at the front. So then, um, so then uh, when I'm just sitting up here, I can just toss it in and uh, mark my spot. Um, this is where I keep my rods. Uh, yeah, I've got a fluke rod and topwater rod. Just, I normally try and carry about six rods if it's like crankbait season or spinnerbait season, which it is now. I like to take um, about seven or eight. And uh, yeah, here's a rod I wanted to show you guys. It was my carrot stick rod. And it's, um, this is basically, uh, it's a medium heavy, seven foot, 20 pound uh, spider wire on there, quantum escalade. And um, this is a rod that I love to use in wood cover and like heavy cover because it can really yank the fish out of there. Um, I, have a, I have it uh, with wacky worm on right now because that is one of the killer things right now in this season is uh, boat docks, you know, down trees, that stuff. But the problem is with a little flimsy rod like that, the Sedona 8 pound mono, that can really wrap you around timber and stuff and get you hung up and uh, that's, you know, that fish can mean a tournament win or something. Uh, so yeah, this is basically my boat and how I pack it. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.